Smelling Roses here, coming to you today with a short gear review. A lot of my friends and subscribers have been asking me, what do I do on the trail in the winter when we have icy and snowy conditions? And there's a lot of products on the market that uh, you can use to gain stability on the trail, but I'm going to show you what I use. I've owned and used this product for several years now. This is the Hill Sound Trail Crampon. Now before we get started, I just want to point out that this particular boot that I'm using for demonstration is not a waterproof boot. It's more of a summer type hiking boot. And uh, you can see it's kind of worn out. I've hiked a lot of miles in this boot. It served me very well. But I would not use this boot in snowy or wet conditions, but due to its light color, I chose this uh, for the demonstration because the light color of the boot will contrast nicely with the Hill Sound Trail Crampon, and perhaps you can see it better than if I used a dark brown or black boot that, uh, that is typical of my other hiking shoes. So that's why I'm using this boot, but again, this is not a winter, uh, this is not a winter or wet condition hiking boot. So this is not really a true crampon. Uh, I've heard people refer to these as stretch on crampons because they sort of stretch and fit over your shoe or boot like this, as you can see. So with this product, we are not talking about ice climbing or trekking on a glacier or something of that nature. You would need uh, a real crampon uh, for something like that. This would be ideal for trail hiking where you may find uh, snow or ice along the trail. So before I get uh, into the details of this, I will mention there are a number of products on the market similar. Uh, there are many brands. Hill Sound is just one. I believe this is a Canadian company. But there are many other brands and you can shop around and see what would work best for you. But I have just absolutely uh, really enjoyed having these heel sounds and they've really come in handy. I use them hiking and I even use them at work as well as you saw in some of the introductory clips to this video. So let's take a look at the construction of this product. You'll see that the first thing you'll notice is that it has this very thick heavy duty rubber type material that is very strong very heavy duty but it does stretch and fit tightly to your shoe. You can see there are some products like this on the market that the entire crampon will be all rubber even the part that comes under your shoe and it might have little rubber knobs. Those might be uh, ideal for someone who just needs to gain extra traction on say a city sidewalk or perhaps crossing a parking lot something of that nature. But uh, you'll notice this product just has the rubber stretchy part on the top which secures it to your shoe. But the part that actually gives you the traction is all steel underneath. It has these stainless steel almost like chains that hold the, uh, hold the product together and it has these carbon steel spikes. You can see the spikes range from say a half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch. They are carbon steel and they are very strong, but with the chains you still have plenty of flexibility of movement. Now the Hill Sounds website says that this rubber material is good down to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 
Uh, here where I am located in the southern mid-Atlantic, um, obviously we don't get temperatures in that range, so I've never personally tested it at those temperatures. If we did have temperatures like that, uh, trust me, this guy would be inside somewhere and not out trekking around, hopefully. There are indicators on the back and the front indicating the front and the back, obviously. However, there are no left and right. Uh, either one will fit or work equally well on your left shoe or your right shoe, so you don't really have to worry about that. It does have this uh, hook and loop strap that sort of comes over the top. I don't know that you really need this, but it sort of helps hold it in place. A pair of these heel sounds does weigh about one pound, so that is something you have to uh, take into consideration if you're worried about weight. And so that is a little bit on the heavy side, but you can see they are pretty heavy duty, so naturally with all this steel, that is going to be some extra weight that you may have to consider carrying around. Um, another Perhaps negative thing I could say about them is that since the spikes are carbon steel, they will rust if you don't uh, give them a little maintenance every now and, then and, and again. What I do is just uh, once or twice a year, I coat them with some brake free, some uh, CLP brake free. It is a lubricant and uh, protectorant that works its way into the metal. I use it on these, I use it on uh, knife blades, firearms, anything metal that I want to protect from rust and corrosion, it works great. Um, there are other products as well that you can use. You just want to make sure that you keep the carbon steel portions oiled up to prevent rust. Um, I suppose it would have been great if, if they were also stainless steel, but I'm sure it's a, a price consideration. Uh, certainly it would have made the product more expensive. So I'll tell you guys kind of a funny story. Um, many, many years ago, uh, I was out in eastern North Carolina doing some bushwhacking near the Roanoke River. And it had been snowing, and there had been a snow ice event a few days prior to my hike. Most of that snow had melted, but we had some ice still around, and it was very muddy. And somehow I slipped, and I slid down probably a good eight or ten foot bluff and just by sheer luck I didn't fall into the river and with the ice melt the river was flowing pretty good it had a good speed and it was up quite a bit and in the winter time I'm sure that water was very cold um, I was very thankful that I did not go into the river that day but that did prompt me to look into what I could do to perhaps gain better traction on the trail now these they work great in the snow, but they are amazing on ice. Um, I just can't even explain to you how excellent they are on ice. Recently I was hiking up on Terrapin Mountain. I'm not sure if you guys watched that video from a couple of weeks ago. But there were some icy portions of the trail and I had intended to take these crampons with me on the trail, but I forgot and left them in the truck. And when I came to the icy portion of the trail, I attempted to continue but it was very slick and I wasn't making any distance at all and uh, it was just really treacherous so I had to turn back. If I had had these with me I could have cruised through there at my regular hiking speed with no issue at all. Um, I've been on cliffs around waterfalls with these and I've always felt very confident with my footing when I was using these micro spikes. Mostly I do use these in the winter, but additionally I have used them at other times of the year. I mentioned muddy conditions, even at work or on the trail, if the uh, conditions are very muddy, this does help to gain a little extra traction. Uh, once I was hiking Big Stone Mountain, way out in far southwest Virginia. It was in the late fall, and it's a lightly used trail. There was the freshly fallen leaves were very deep and there was one very steep section of the trail. I slipped these on and I was able to scramble up the slope fairly easily and I believe that without these crampons it would have been very difficult to navigate that section of the trail. Also I recall a time when I climbed down into a gorge in the winter to check out a waterfall and I didn't have any problem getting down 
uh, without any without the heel sounds I just had my hiking boots but fortunately I had taken these with me in the pack because um, without them I would not have been able to climb back up it, it had become very slippery I guess the sun had warmed up and started melting the ice a little bit and when I tried to climb back out uh, without these I'm, I'm really not sure I would have made it out of that gorge uh, certainly not the same way that I went in. I mentioned that a complete pair of these weighs approximately one pound. I guess it depends exactly on which size you buy as well. Um, if I'm taking these on a hike and I'm reasonably confident that I will use them, a lot of times I will just hang them on the outside of my pack. Just run a strap through here and hang them. That will give me easy access. If I'm just taking them as a precaution but not sure if I will need them or not. I will often just uh, fold them up and put them in a in a pouch or somewhere in the bottom of the pack. You can see they they fold up pretty compactly. So I've thoroughly enjoyed having these Hill Sound crampons. They've uh, given me a lot of confidence on icy trails, and I highly recommend you guys look into these or a similar product. I really don't think you can be a serious winter hiker if you don't have something like this at your disposal. There will be many places that you will not be able to safely access uh, without getting good traction on the trail. So you guys who follow my channel regularly know that I have not done a lot of gear reviews up to this point. I don't really like to do a gear review unless it's a product that I have used extensively and am very confident in giving you my opinion. Of course it is just my opinion and take it for what it's worth. I would urge you to always do detailed research before buying or using any product, especially when you're going to be out in wild places and you may be away from other people. You want to make sure you can count on your gear that you're using. So I haven't done many gear reviews to this point, but I think going forward I will start a new gear review series, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, putting some gear through some pretty thorough testing and I hope to share that information with you guys. Hopefully it'll be entertaining and informative at the same time. Hope you guys will stay tuned. And don't forget to like my Facebook page and you can also follow me on Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the trail.